Hello, today we are going to learn how to draw a rectangular pentagon inscribed in a circumference using a set square and a compass. So to start, we are going to mark a point, center point zero in the center of the page, which is going to be the center point of the circle where the pentagon is going to be inscribed. So to continue, we are going to draw a horizontal line through the center point O, and we are going to mark a radius of five centimeters on the horizontal line, as can be seen here, obtaining a new point P. You can pick any random radius that you like. In this case, we chose five centimeters. So now we are going to draw the circumference, uh, centering the compass on center point zero and with the radius zero P, we draw the circle as can be seen here. So the next step is to draw a perpendicular vertical diameter which cuts our circumference at points A and Q as can be seen here in the video. We do this using our 45 degree and 60 degree set squares. So the next step, we are going to calculate the perpendicular bisector of the radius OP. To do this, with our compass set on the point O and a radius slightly greater than half the radius OP, we scribe an arc above and below the radius, as can be seen here. And now, with the same radius and the compass centered on point P, we scribe another two arcs above and below the line, which intersect our previously drawn arcs at two points. And now we will join these two points and where it cuts the radius OP, this will be the midpoint M of the radius. So now with our compass centered on point M and with the radius MA, we scribe an arc to the left until it cuts our horizontal diameter at a new point, which we will call R. Now, with a ruler, we join point R to point A. And this line segment, RA, will be the length L of one side of the rectangular pentagon that we want to draw. So the next step is, with our compass, we want to transport our side L onto the circumference five times, starting at point A. So setting our compass to the length L, we scribe our first arc on the left and on the right. And now setting the compass on the previous points, we scribe another two arcs, as can be seen here on the right side and on the left side. If we have been working with precision and accuracy, our final horizontal line should measure exactly L. So the next step is to name the final four vertices of our pentagon, uh, B, C, D, and E. And finally, with a thicker line, we will join our vertices from B to A. from B to C, from 
from C to D. From vertex D to E. And finally, we will complete our pentagon joining the last two vertices E to A, or A to E. So now we have our rectangular pentagon inscribed in a given circumference. So I hope this video has helped you. Please press like or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until the next video, thank you very much.